Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Okay. Can't say the virus either. Can't say the virus. Okay. Basically, what we got jumping off is kind of like a mini quarantine. It's not full scale quarantine. You know, not like martial law. You'll get shot if you're out on the streets type shit. But we're dealing with what we're dealing with. So what we're dealing with tonight is gonna be some chili. We thought we'd go back to the crock pot. If you guys haven't seen us use the crock pot, we have used it often, just not recently, so I'm gonna have to remind myself how to use it. We're gonna go some, just some simple chili, and we'll show you how it's done, start to finish. After the cigarette break, we wash our hands. You see, I'm, I'm gonna have to fuck around and, and go right-handed on them again. That's right, you go both ways. Okay. When, when you say it like that, it just it makes it filthy. Let's we'll see if I can accomplish this. Luckily, we don't have too much to prep. We're gonna eat, we're gonna go with some canned beans, multicolored canned beans. You gotta wait for that. But for right now, we're gonna do the choppy chop. Uh, so I should have thought of this beforehand. And you are recording this, aren't you? I record everything. Yeah. What we're looking for is a bowl that we can put all this in. Boom. Give that a good wash out. See how dirty it is. Yeah. We wash things. It might have some corona in there. Not. Not pandemic. Oh shit. We might need to quarantine this bowl and wash it. I mean, how stupid do I, I, I feel saying this? Like, really? Feeding into the whole... It's my job to let you know that, like, man, calm the fuck down. Here, here's, here's what's really jumping off. Me, personally, I face death every day. Shit is mad real where I come from. Coronavirus? Blah, 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 man! I, look at this. I got dull knives that I will the virus. Mm, mm, I'll do it. So let's begin with this would be our jalapeno. I thought it was sexy, like that's that's a good looking jalapeno. You know how we like to do it first? We rinse. And then um what are we thinking? Rings? Yeah, and then dice up those rings. Okay. Let's go uh, fairly medium to thin ringlets. All right, this, this isn't like a conventional or easy way to do it. You're just basically chop them up a little bit. We certainly could have went with more chilies in here. It all depends how you like to do. What we're gonna do, what we decided to do, is what you're dealing with right now. So deal with it. I don't wanna hear a word. Oh, he shouldn't have a knife. Oh. These are gonna go in the bowl. Another sexy green. Anaheim. That's a gorgeous pepper right there. Mm, 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 mm. All right. And then um, this, I think, will cut a little bit different. And then, me personally, it all has nutritional value to it. Even the fingernails? Ha <laughs> ha! Now look, man. I've recently cut my fingernails. There won't be any fingernails in this. I can't promise there won't be any toenails. Mm -hmm. And this gets to go in the bowl with the jalapeno. Next, yellow onion. Let's do bell pepper. We're, we're doing peppers. So what we decided to go with was red bell pepper. Borderline like purple. This thing is dark, dark red. We're gonna watch it first. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll wash it first because that's what we do. We just forget sometimes. All right, and then you guys know how crappy I am at cutting a bell pepper open. You just you don't need to cut it like that. You can just slice the whole end up. Like that? Yeah. That's wasteful. Right, and don't throw any of the red pieces away. No, no, I got cut you. them all off. Yeah. Uh, how chunky do we want to go? Much the same as these. Maybe pretty, we'll, pretty thin. Yeah, pretty right. small dice. If you like pith, get your pith on. We don't like it. And then, let's start with you. Let's, I mean, let's start with what we got. Oh, what I would give for a sharp knife. Daddy wants a sharp knife for Christmas. Ooh. So let's go, uh, the boss says we're going thin. The audience scared out there. They want to know what's going to happen next. Is he? Is he? Oh, no. All right. So, 
What I'm gonna do first is get this kind of crap out of there. I don't like it. From here, I mean, you just chop it up however you want. We've already established what we want as far as size. We're somewhere in that ballpark. And next, we do some onion. We got black beans and brown beans. It's only right that we add some white onion. You know what I mean? Just balance. Plus it makes Massa happy. And what we do, if you've ever seen us before in Casey's Crazy Kitchen, you know how we attempt to get an onion all ready to go. A little onion never hurt anybody. I know people who don't like onion. And uh, what do we want to do with these? Dice it up. Keep in mind, there's going to be many chefs out there that are way more coordinated and, you know, more power to them. But I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with, so you. He's going to beat that out. Watch. So in the bowl they go with the red bell pepper, with the jalapeno pepper, with the Anaheim pepper. I forgot how much fun it is to, like, chop up onions and peppers and things. <laughs> like, it's like, why can't I get some goggles up in this dish? I thought we smashed up some garlic. What I was thinking was we'd go with the rest of this one. I mean, look at this, folks. I don't, I don't know if you're ready for this, but we're ready for coronavirus. We got one clove, two cloves, three cloves, four cloves, four and a half cloves. I thought we were gonna have garlic titties for a minute. Yeah, we can if we want it. How many are you thinking? Well, at least half of that, right? All right, then we smashy smash. We didn't want him anyway. He was. We did want him. Mm -hmm. oh, good. Do we have the pleasure of throwing this in the same bowl? Yes. Oh, I don't know if you remember what we have in here. We have a white onion because my boss is racist. We have a red bell pepper, which has nothing to do with racism. We just thought that was colorful. And then we have an Anaheim. We have a jalapeno. And now, guess what's gonna join them? Just some chunky minced garlic. What? That right there is... I mean, that makes me want to add more, if anything. Let's add some carrots to it. Yeah. I don't know if that bowl's gonna support us. Yeah, well. One carrot, folks. Nothing fancy. But it will add a little sweetness to it. And then, uh, how do we wanna do this? Is that weird that it, it seems like I'm better with my right hand than I am my left hand? So they're like, oh man, he's switching it up. He's going right-handed. Does he know what he's doing? Can he do it, folks? I tend to think he, he's showing you that he can do it, folks. And then this goes in, too? Yep. <laughs> and next, boys and girls, this is just for the garnish on top of the chili. We're going with green onion. And this is gonna go into a separate bowl because this is gonna go on top of the chili after it's all cooked. What you're gonna do is grab out your meat next. Grab my meat next. I'm gonna go cast iron. No, actually we're gonna we can do it right up in the uh, in the thing if you want to. Put the pressure here. Really? If you feel confident about this, so you're suggesting that we cook the meat in here. And then what do we do? All right. There it is. What we're doing right now is we're gonna saute. We're gonna saute our meats. What we went with was about a half a pound of some ground chuck, nothing fancy. And then we went with about another half pound of some country style pork sausage. With the vegetables, with the meat, with the beans, 
you got a meal that's gonna feed four to six people. I'm wondering if I should, I should leave the top off, yeah? The saute is just the bottom right now, the cuisine art. So it's like using the, the skillet. But you never used this though. Yeah, we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we used it for the, the beef. It's foolish. All right. About the jambalaya, we did the chicken up in it. I have video evidence of us doing jambalaya chicken and sausage up in that thing, sausage. Stuff. I have I have no recollection. This right here is the sausage, folks. And if you look at that, that's got some good fat in it, got some good flavor. Probably could have let it go for a minute or two longer. As long as I hear that sound. It's a little chunky right now, but what we're gonna do is let that cook a little bit. And then we'll, and then we'll break it down a little more and then we're gonna add some, some ground chuck. Cause we don't give a now what? Damn. All right, ground chuck, do your thing. How's that meat feeling? <laughs> oh, my meat feels good. Is that why you're playing with it? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm playing with my meat because it feels real good when I play with my meat. No, I think we're. we're Whew. We're gonna be in there. As, as you can see, we still have a little red in there. And we're trying to, oops, we're fogging up the camera. We still got a little red in there. And basically, we want to ground about like this. See that right there? About, about like that. And we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away, folks. And you're suggesting that next, we add our vegetables? Been doing much ass kicking lately? No, I'm, I'm kind of. I mean, honestly, I haven't. They, they keep me on lockdown here because I got coronavirus, so I don't really get to get out and kick some ass. And then we're gonna go with our vegetables. And in case you forgot, we have carrots, we have garlic, we have white onion, we have red bell pepper, we have a jalapeno, and we have an Anaheim. And it's all going right in there with that. Uh, And then you suggested that we were going to add a little something to this. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper? You know how we like our Himalayan. That's what we're going with today. I don't want to get too far overboard. There's going to be a bunch in there. I'm thinking one more little splash. Pretty good. That's good? Yeah. (laughs) Disobedient Negroes. Everywhere you go. A little pepper. It's a little black pepper. Finally get to add something black to the you know, ingredient list. And uh, I'm thinking somewhere's in there. Oh, look at that, folks. Tell me how colorful that is. That's this. So while that's doing its thing, we can uh, we have to open up some cans of tomatoes. We are. Them. Luckily, we're not going to have to open a can of whoop ass. All right, folks. Next, we're adding our tomatoes. We went with some petite diced fire roasted with chipotle peppers. Just add a little bit of flavor to it. And this one, just straight fire roasted, diced. But what we do, we're going with the fire roasted. And then we're gonna go with the fire roasted with chipotle peppers. And then we're gonna stir that up. We're gonna give that a good stir. Next, we're adding the, the beans. The, the, the black beans are going first, you know what I mean? The black beans are gonna be on the front of the bus this time. All right, next, we're gonna go the brown beans. We're gonna let those Latinos get on the bus first too, you know what I mean? Brown beans, voila. We're going with some white kidney beans. I honestly, I didn't even know these existed, but they do. So. How you feeling about that chili? <laughs> mm, I want to. It is awesome. Look. Ready to season this thing up? I have to. All right, folks. Cayenne pepper. We're just going with a little splash. And you notice they don't have the whole little. So we're gonna have to be real careful with this. Given how much we have there, I'm thinking somewhere in there. 
not anything too crazy because we're gonna have a whole lot more seasoning involved. Next, let's go with the chili powder, the chipotle chili powder. And again, this is all just kind of eyeballed um, somewhere in there. And then next, we're going with a little smoked paprika. Paprika! Oh. Now we're gonna go with some ground cumin. Cumin, assuming we know what we're doing. In there, two more. I always gotta disobey. I'm gonna write you now. And um, we can be friendly. We can be generous with the oregano, I think. Like, I don't know, the oregano never hurt nobody. Come on there. Maybe a little squirt of honey to balance it all out. A little squirt of the honey. That's good. You don't have to be sweet. Yeah. Stir it up, folks. Going with chicken broth. Somewhere in there. there yeah. Rum. Okay. Can we use two cups? Yeah, basically half a container, two cups. You get four cups out of each of those. And then we stir that up again. That's that's gonna be some stuff. And we want high pressure or low pressure? Let's go with low pressure. Just chilling. side that you're pointing towards me, they get lined up with an arrow on the other side of the pressure cooker. How long were we thinking? Let's give it a half hour. I don't remember how to do this now. Well, let's do it with this one. Fuck okay. it. What do you think, 30 minutes? A little longer, a little less. So you know what time it is now, right? Casey's Crazy Smoke Break. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. And when you hear that, that means you're good to go. Ooh, look at the color jumping off in there. I'm gonna stir it up so that you can see some of the beans and everything else that's down in there. It's a little soupy. I still think maybe we can go for another 15. Uh, what do we have it on? Low pressure? Low pressure. This was made with pride in Pembroke, California. It's close by, it's local. And we love supporting local. That's a big, a big, big one. You're saying 400, don't you? Yeah, 400. So, should I do a cookie sheet? Should I? No, I just go right on the rack. Right on the rack. Mm. All right. And then, I'm going to assemble some chili. Let's see what we got here, folks. This is just me personally, folks. I'm gonna add a little triple cheddar. You don't have to add cheese. You can add whatever cheese you like. And then, me personally, I'm gonna go with a little sriracha because that's what I like to do. Ta! And then, a little green onion. Just a little garnish. That right there, you tell me you don't want to eat some of that. We're gonna put one of those in there. I don't know, like if you guys are ready for it, I'm ready for it. Okay, let's 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 get a uh, little bit of everything in there. Alright. Here we go folks.
to the blue one more. That's some good right there. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Thank you for joining us on Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Bye bye. Casey's Crazy Kitchen.